Hi there, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today I am dyeing up mini skeins. These are all the mini skeins that I made over the past week for tomorrow's sale. So hopefully I can get them all dried before then. But today's been very, a little bit cooler than usual. There is some sun out, but I don't know how long it's going to be out for. Um, so I need to try to get these done as quick as possible, but I have 800 grams to die up. That's crazy. So I've decided to use up some leftovers on these minis. Um, this set, there's five. You can only see four because I can't fit them all in. But this one is going to be Tropical Sunset, the one that I dyed up last. Um, so I need Violet, Wild Berry, Hot Pink, Mustard, and Desert Pea. I'm just doing solids. Um, so each mini will be a solid colour of that colourway. I'm not sure if because these dyes have been sitting for a while, if they will take. So I might have to add a little bit more vinegar. I have prepped half of this container with vinegar and the rest, the other half, hot water. That's my mix I use all the time for getting bright colours. may be doing a few different colours with repeated colours. So I'll just shake it up. Now I'm pretty sure this is violet. So This one's going to be off camera, I'm sorry. I will edit this one out.
Hi, this is part two to my dyeing video. Um, I've just um, rinsed and wrung out water on the first set, and then I've patted most of the water out with a towel. The next lot, I've got two more sets to do, which I will show you how to do it. Now these are, this is one set. This one is the Tropical Sunset colorway. So I'm just going to pop them up on my little hooks. Okay, that's colour way one. Colour way two is peacock. So I pop them in. Uh, yeah. The next one I go. Okay. These ones have been sitting for about an hour now out of the steamer. I will go with lightest to darkest. So easy to get them out. Go through one end and pull it out. As, no, is this Aztec gold? No, this is mustard. Okay. So I have put one scoop, uh, one squirt of the um, Baby Care Shampoo Conditioner in my bath. And they all should be clear when you pull them out. The blues may have a little bit of pigment. But blue is also always very hard to get completely saturated. Okay, so that's a mustard. This is aqua. Aqua is normally really hard to get the pigment to go, but my water is pretty clear. So I'm happy. Just rinse it. This gets rid of most of the vinegar smell. It's actually a light, a light colored, light bright blue, but I don't know. My camera never wants to show the right color ever. This is a mix of fluoro green and aqua. It's a lot brighter. It's a bright green. I don't know why it's so dark. Maybe because I don't have the light on. 
Well, that's a bit better. That's more the colour. It's really pretty. Really pretty. This is Peacock colourway. If you're looking for it tomorrow on the sale. It's a new colourway of mine. This one is a Kingfisher. It's actually a lot more green than blue. No, oh, some of these colours just don't want to show up. I'll take a I'll take some photos and get the colours correct and then I'll update at the end of this video. Warriors. This is a violet. It's actually a lot darker than that, more purple. Okay, so I place them down on the towel and I put the towel over the top and you press all, all most of the water out. This allows it to dry faster, especially during the cooler months. I do have a spin dryer, but I just don't want these to tangle. It's pretty good. I will put them over on the hooks again and then I'll do the last one. Okay, I'm going to turn my towel over because that's quite saturated on that side. And my last colourway is Evening Sunset. I just changed the blue and made it a royal blue. royal blue colour. Again I'll go from the lightest which is yellow. Also change the colour of the yellow. Instead of gold I've gone a bright yellow. Now this is still very hot it's only been cooling for 15 minutes.
This is so bright. This one is a wattle yellow. A wattle yellow. In landscape dyes. It's a beautiful yellow. I'm always after a nice yellow. Because I use yellow in a lot of different colours. Colourways. This one is Desert Pea. It's not orange. It's showing up orange here. It is actually a tomato red. The next one is wild berry. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why the colors never want to show up. Maybe I need to start filming with an, like a, a filter on or something. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed when I take a photo of it compared to what they're showing up here. How bright and how beautiful they are. The next one's a violet. Now this evening sun's it's a bit different to the other ones that I've done. I've added violet and I've changed the blue to a royal blue and I've added violet and a bright yellow normally royal blue is really hard to get working um apollo blue is supposed to be royal blue it never wants to take um this blue is actually uh, Jacquard Violet 2 and, and half a teaspoon of Aqua. But this is so pretty. It actually, it's so pretty. So pretty. The next lot of dyeing I'm going to do, which I'll probably do some more this afternoon. I've got eight more sets to dye up. Um, I'm thinking of doing some gradients. Um, so there'll be some really pretty ones in for the, the coarse spun yarns and the super coils. That's about it that's left to do. So if you like gradients and you do wall hangings, I'll have a few available in the sale tomorrow. They're pretty affordable. They're not going to be expensive either. And then I put them on the line and they normally only take a day to dry. Um, so 
so I will take some photos while they're out on the line for you and pop them on the end of this video and then um, you'll see the end results in the sale in the sale album okay thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one bye for now